Unit 5, Trigonometry, Section 5.1, The Pythagorean Theorem. Let's work on some pre-skills here. First of all, let's talk about squaring numbers. So if I start with the number 3, if I'm going to square it, I'm taking it to the power of 2. That does not mean 3 times 2. That is the same as 3 times 3. This 2 refers to the fact that there are two 3's multiplied together. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which gives me 9. 7 squared is the same as 7 times 7, which should give me 49. I'm going to jump to the last two. It's exactly the same if you're working with a decimal. 11.8 squared is the same as 11.8 times 11.8. 11.8 times 11.8 is 139.24. Let's end it off with the last one. 46.53, well, it's, it's times itself. It is 2,165.0409. Keep in mind, squares can start getting large fast. Next one, we're looking for the square root. Square root is the opposite. Essentially, I'm wanting to know what number times itself will give me my original number. So the first one, what is the square root of 9? What times what gives me 9? For most of these, you're going to need to use the square root button on your calculator. Although the square root of 9 is one you should probably have memorized, using the square root button, 3 times 3 gives me 9. So the square root of 9 equals 3. Square root of 25, well, 25 is 5 times 5. Square root of 25 is 5. Some of these are nice, neat, perfect squares, but not all of them are. Let's jump to the last two. Square root of 40. If I use the square root button on my calculator, I end up with square root of 40 being 6.34. Square root of 348.56. Well, that ends up being, that ends up being 18.67. Yes, I rounded it off. Now, we're still working on some pre-skills here. If you want to know what the sum of the squares are, well, square each one and add them together. So the first one, 3 squared plus 4 squared. 3 squared is 9. 16 plus 9 is 25. I'm going to jump to the last one. 29.44 squared plus 65.2 squared. 29.44 squared is 866.71, and 65.2 squared is 4,251.01. Add those two together, and we end up with 5,107.75. This time we're going to the difference of the squares. And what I mean is we're going to find the square of each one and then subtract the two. Let's do the first one, we're looking at 5 squared minus 3 squared. Do your squares first. 5 times 5 is 25. 3 times 3 gives me 9. 25 minus 9 leaves me with 16. And I'm going to jump to the last one on this one too. We're looking at 35.2 squared minus 12.33 squared. 35.2 squared is 1,239.04. And 12.33 squared is 152.03. Subtract those two, and you get 1,087.01. .01. That's my difference of squares. Next one, find the square root of the sum of squares. So essentially, I'm taking 3 squared plus 4 squared, that's the sum of squares, and I want to know what the square root of the whole thing is. So let's start with the inside, start with those squares. 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16. Add those two together, 9 plus 16 gives me 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. That one worked out nice and neat, but they don't all work out nice and neat. Let's jump to the last one again. I'm taking the square root of both those numbers, 2.4 and 11.6. I'm squaring both numbers, then I'm adding them together, that's the sum part, and then I'm taking the square root of that answer. 2.4 squared is 5.76, and 11.6 squared is 134.56. Add those two together, you get 140.32. And last, we're going to take the square root of both, round it off to two decimal places. We end up with 11.85. Keep in mind, as soon as we do that square root, we don't need to write the square root symbol anymore. Last pre-skill, find the square root of the difference of squares. So essentially, we're going to square those two. That's the squares part. We want to know what the difference is, so that's subtracting. And then we're going to take the square root of that. 13 squared is 169. 12 squared is 144. We're subtracting those two numbers and taking the square root of the answer. 169 minus 144 gives me 25. We've done the square root of 25 before. My end answer is 5. Moving over to 16 and 8. 16 squared 
minus 8 squared, and I want to find the square root of that. Well, 16 squared is 256, minus 8 squared, which is 64. Take the square root of those. When I do my subtracting, I'm left with 192. Square root of 92 is 13.9.